Welcome or welcome back to the Money, Wine and Cheese Club TV. My name is Sarah and as always I'm here to talk to you about all things money and life. Today we have a different one for you. So last week or the week before we talked about creating a budget, a zero balance budget. So today I thought it would be fun to give you a few tips, 10 of them to be exact, to keep you motivated and to keep you excited about this thing called budgeting and about creating a plan for your money and your life. I know that taking control of your finances, of your money can be overwhelming. Well, especially if, well, you've never thought about it before, right? If it's your first time. So remember, this is not a one size fits all. Your budget's going to change. Your life is going to change. So things are always evolving and it's normal. That's the way it's supposed to be. So don't think of a budget as something restrictive. It's something that is going to help you adjust your money to your life and your life to your money. Because at the end of the day, hey, a budget is personal because life is personal. We are, we are all different and it's okay. So I'm just here to remind you a little bit that please don't give up. <laughs> Please keep going because it's really important to have that peace of mind, have that sense of control over what we can control. So tip number one, start with gratitude. Now, if you've been here for a while, you know this is how I started my own financial journey. I started with gratitude. If you don't know the story, you can go to my blog and read about it or you can watch a video that will show up here somewhere on it. I always talk about it because it really is the thing that moved the needle for me. It's the, the gratitude is what made me start on this financial journey. It's the reason that I started this YouTube channel. It's the reason I started my blog. It's the reason I create courses and everything that I do around money because one day I just decided to be grateful for whatever I had in my life. And believe me, it wasn't much, but it was a lot looking back. <laughs> so I just wanted to encourage you to just be grateful for what you have today, no matter what your circumstances. Remember, I was drowning in debt. I lost my house. I was doing a job that I didn't like. Uh, everything was going wrong. Everything, nothing was going right. And yet the day that I started to be grateful that I had that crappy job, be grateful that I could put food on, food on the table, be grateful that I had a husband that supported me. <sighs> Everything changed in my life and especially with our money. That was like the biggest thing that turned the whole situation around for us because I truly believe that when you try to be positive, positive things come your way. Okay, moving on. Tip number two, define your goals. Be clear on what you want out of life and money. Now, do you really know what you want? You know, you're going to end up somewhere. You're going to arrive, but you don't know where if you don't have a plan, if you don't know where you're going. So as long as you're going on this journey, you might as well define what you really want for your life and your money. Again, all these tips, they, they're interchangeable with life and money because I do believe that finances and money are a big part of your whole journey. Be sure of what you want or at least have an idea of what you'd like to happen. Even Because sometimes we want to set goals, but we don't believe that we'll achieve them. So if that's too hard for you to believe, just think about what you'd really like to achieve or to have or what you'd like to happen and start there. And slowly, as you start moving forward, you'll see that things start to get more defined, if that makes sense. Tip number three, acknowledge small wins. Now, Maybe this week you could save $5. Hey, awesome, you are doing amazing. Because guess what? Before you started budgeting, you weren't saving anything. Or maybe you don't quite have enough to save, but you did not use your credit card this week. Hey, awesome, you are doing awesome. You are moving forward. You are, move you are making a difference in 
difference in your own life so keep going and it's important that you say hey good on you you know you went to the supermarket and you bought only what you really needed to buy awesome you know like you didn't buy that extra thing because it wasn't on the list and if usually you have a hard time sticking to a list hey guess what congratulate yourself you are doing amazingly so don't forget to pat yourself on the back because it's hard especially if never done this before it can be very hard so anything you can do to stay motivated is a plus tip number four keep it simple now budgeting or creating a plan for your money doesn't have to be complicated i know that i talk about the zero balance budget that's what i use that's what i love that's what we talked about a couple of weeks ago but if that's too hard for you right now if you are not there if you cannot even think of you know categories and going back and forth and putting it all you need is a piece of paper and you just write your income how much money is coming into your house how much you need for your four walls like your rent, utilities, uh, gas and food, transportation and food, and then you you see how much you need for life. That's needs, but also a lot of wants. That's as simple as that. All you have to do is do that and see where your money is going. It's important that you know where it's going. Tip number five, let go of the guilt. Okay, so now you created a plan for your money, now you are trying to stick to the budget, but you keep thinking, oh, I can't do this because, you know what, I've done so much, so many mistakes in the past, I'm not capable of doing this. You are, and just the fact that you are thinking about it, it's amazing, the fact that you are taking active steps, baby steps, but you are taking those steps to move forward is amazing. You didn't know better back then, and that's what you did now, hopefully you do know better you are here you are learning so you are going to do better your past does not define your future or who you are it just happened let it go it's okay you did the best you could with what you had at the time tip number seven reframe your how you think about budgeting so budget is not a, a restrictive plan for your money that is not going to let you do whatever you want with your money. A budget is permission to spend. You can do whatever you want. It's your money, it's your budget, it's your life. Now, you might have to make choices, but life is full of choices that we make every single day. And this is no difference. You know, like in your own life, two people invite you to two different parties. You have to choose which one you're going or if you're not going at all. It's a choice. With the budget, it's the same. You want to buy a pair of shoes or you want to put food on the table. I mean, come on, it's a choice. You choose whatever's going to work for you. Food, I think, but anyway, who am I to judge you? <laughs> so, you know, it's choices and we keep making these choices every single day in our own life. With a budget, it's the same thing and it's not restricting you. It gives you permission to spend wherever you want to spend it. You, are, you might not be buying that pair of shoes today because you want to invest that money. It's a choice you make. You might not go out to dinner because you really want to go out on that weekend with your friends. Whatever it is, again, choices. And that's the way you have to look at your budget. It's not something that is there telling you you cannot spend money. You can but you have to choose. Okay, moving on, tip number eight. Reframe your thoughts around budgeting. Again, this comes a little bit from what I've just talked, but instead of saying to yourself, I can't afford this, try. Right now, I prefer to spend my money elsewhere. I can't afford to go to dinner this Saturday because I'm going on this amazing cruise in a couple of months and I need to save the money. You know, whatever it looks like for you it's okay it's your life it's your budget it's your money again choices but just change that idea of oh i can't go out to dinner i have no money or oh i can't afford that dress right now i can no you can you it's a choice you can choose right you are free to choose do you want to pay off your debt and have peace of mind or do you want to make more and more debt to live that lifestyle that is not even real. Tip number eight, keep a journal. Now, this can be a place where you just 
track your expenses like every day you know like you go for a coffee you go to the grocery store you buy a magazine whatever it is you subscribe to something just jot it down so that you have an idea of how much all of these little things in life are costing you because it's not the big things because the big things we we more or less know what they are little things like 10 bucks here 15 there five there you know it's it's not enough for us to even pay attention but at the end of the month if you spend a couple of dollars every single day it's going to make a real big difference at the end of the month and that's probably where your money is going right now but it's so little that we we don't think it you know worth even checking where it's going but it is worth it because there's a lot of money going through those cracks that we can't see but they make a difference tip number nine don't compare your life to anybody else's life this is called personal finance for a reason because it's personal no life is the same whatever is important to me is probably not important to you you then spend money on it on whatever you love spending money on probably not the same thing for me that's okay we live different lives now the problem is when we see everybody else having something and we want it not because it's going to make us happy not because it's going to make our life more enjoyable but because somebody else has it everybody else has it we feel like we have to have it we don't we have to choose again it comes down to a choice when you think about wanting something give yourself time to think about it for example give yourself 48 hours before you go and spend the money just think about it do you want it do you need it why i mean you know i use i usually use the example you know i love handbags like i, I really love handbags and sometimes i ask myself okay i'm gonna buy that bag if nobody saw it would i still want it well it depends there are things that i would buy no matter what even if, if nobody nobody saw it but there are other things I'm thinking, yeah, well, not really. <laughs> I mean, if nobody's going to see that I have a brand new pair of shoes, it's no fun. Come on. I want to show them that I can, that I have, right? So that's really not a good reason to, to spend your money on that thing. Is it aligned with your lifestyle? Is it what you want? Awesome. Go for it. Save for it. Buy it. Wear it. You know, whatever it is. Uh, drive it around if it's a car um, whatever but if you just want it because everybody else has it and it's kind of uh, hey see how successful I am then that's not a good enough reason to spend your money m your money on it and don't get me wrong I still I I spend a lot of money on stuff that honestly <laughs> I shouldn't <laughs> and sometimes it's not even because I'm comparing myself to what sometimes it is sometimes it is uh, I see it on social media and I gotta have it but most of the time I'm just disappointed because those things are not making me as happy as I see those people on social media that are really happy with their thing whatever it is so I really need to work on this one myself as well tip number 10 focus on your progress don't think about how far you still have to go don't think about how hard it still is gonna be think about how much you've done already how far you've come already it's amazing you know we forget that this stuff is hard life is hard sometimes and it sometimes it's harder because we make it harder so no need to make this harder than it needs to be just focus and stuff's gonna happen life's gonna happen you're going to have your budget upside down multiple times and it's okay that's just life you have to adapt your money your budget your plan to your life there are people that lose their jobs they're going to have to adapt to that there are people that are going to start making a lot more money than they were making they are going to have to deal with that everybody is dealing with something and it's only a problem to us when we have to deal with it which is fine so think of your budget as something that is going to be ever evolving it's it's not stagnant it's not one thing that you do once and then it's always the same chances are it's going to change 
every single month and at the beginning it's going to change every single week because we didn't put in all our expenses we forgot about that income that was coming in we forgot about tax we forgot about whatever and insurance whatever so it's normal but don't let that keep you from moving on just do your best to really move forward and this is going to change your life i promise you that much if you do the work you are going to change your life hey thank you so much for being with me if you like this kind of content please subscribe to the channel please give it a thumbs up so that more people will be shown this video and this type of content thank you again and i'll see you in the next video bye